for tutorial 5-4 we are looking at a polytropic process in a polytropic process we are given a quantity of gas we really do not know what the gas is in this particular sum uh, it happens that there is no need to know it uh, only that it obeys the perfect gas equation. We know the po polytropic rule PV to the power of N, which N is 1.25 and we know the volume changes from 5.6 litres to 26.25 litres. We are supposed to determine the final pressure. So what we do is we write out the state of the properties that we know, P1, V1 and V2. You'll see that we need not change to cubic meters because in the sum later on, V1 and V2 will be in the form of a ratio. So it really doesn't matter the units. But we have to be careful though. This is how we frame our equation for a polytropic process. As you can see here, I have uh, written out the units and the numbers related to the variable. I have done something that you need to be very, very careful. Uh, I have, of course, got to include uh, on the right-hand side 1.25 because what I'm going to do next, it seems wrong. It seems that I have put 2.85 mega newtons i've not bothered to do any adjustment okay so i have to be careful when i write out my final answer you also notice liters liters notice now i've made p2 the subject of the formula and more importantly, look at what I've done here. Because the two volumes are in a ratio, it doesn't really matter whether I have liters or cubic meters because in the end, I will get a ratio. I have to also be very careful here because my value that I have put here is mega newton okay so here when we do the final computation we have to account that my units of pressure will come out as mega newton as you can see if we put in the put it our figures in the calculator we'll get an answer of 0 0.413 mega newton per meter square but if we want to express it in terms of bar or Pascal, let's say we want to express it in terms of Pascal, we will get the following answer. 4.13 times 10 to the power of 5 Pascal. Or 4.13 bar. 